Hi. I'm sitting down and you know what that means. It's not a let's talk. But I do have a few ideas for next week's let's, let's talk, which is going to be my perfect imperfection tag. Might want to look out for that. Uh, apologies. I'm almost at 100 subscribers. Hi to the people that watch my videos. So today I'm going to be doing my November favorites because I figured that if I were to film my perfect imperfections tag and upload it next week, then I feel like if I upload my November favorites the next two weeks, it's going to be too late. Let's start off with some beauty products. Yay! So I have my Revlon Photo Ready Concealer with SPF 20. I've been using this more. Uh, concealer has become my life. It really smooths out nicely and uh, yeah, I think it's pretty awesome. And it does the work, so kudos to Revlon. The next one is a mascara that I've been using and it is the Revlon Lash Potion. And it's not in waterproof, which kind of sucks, but this is in Black is Black. And it's a pretty good mascara, I really like it. It does smudge a bit. Can you say it? Can you say it? It's pretty packaging, I really like the packaging. Uh, I have two skincare products, and I don't know if I mentioned this one, but it's the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Hydrating Gel Moisturizer. And it smells like cucumber and green mango, and it smells delicious. And I love this in the morning, because I feel like I smell so good in the morning. So, yay! I really like Clean and Clear products. They work for me, they might not work for you, but... This does the job, also. Um, and my last skincare product is Eskinol or Eskinol, and this is a product of the Phil Philippines. I hope you guys are doing okay over there, keeping you in my prayers. Is the Pure Calamansi Extract. My mom used to use the lemon one, but I decided to go and adventure, venture out into different ones. So for an even skin tone, and that's what I kind of need for my skin. I just like using a skin all to remove excess makeup and it does get a lot of stuff off which is really cool so let's move on to fashion because that's always fun right high rise jeans and i actually wore these today these are from blue notes i have another pair in the laundry right now i really like it yeah and i also have to love my leggings this is my shiny leggings from urban planet these are high-waisted and they're really pretty i like them when I want to look expensive. <laughs> also been really liking this scarf. This scarf is from American Apparel that I got from my family friend. And he just gave it to me because he said he was allergic to the wool. It's a nice pop of color and I feel it looks good with the next fashion thing that I want to show you guys, which is my H&M jacket. And I got this back in March uh, in Barcelona. And yeah, i just been wearing it recently, but it snowed the other day, so it's not warm enough. I like the combination of button-ups and a nice cardigan. I like the combination of button-ups with t-shirts. So for songs, I really like Pompeii by Bastille. I heard the song acoustically and it was just beautiful. Ugh. And I also really like Girls by the 1975 and I'm hoping to see them March 6th and I didn't hear anything about it being 19 plus to enter so I'm really excited and I really want to go so hopefully have the money for that. <laughs> and I also impulsively bought Wildlife by Headley. The reason why it's kind of like an impulse buy because I was buying something from a store and then the cashier girl was like, oh my god, you're spending over $15. That means you could buy one of this, one of these things for only five bucks. And she was like, oh, Headley's new album just came out. You're only getting it for five bucks. Like that's such a good deal because it just came out. Like you should get it. And I'm like, oh, okay. So I went for it and um, I don't regret it. I'm not like crazy crazy about Headley and I really like the song Anything, Crazy For You and Got Love. So those are the three songs that I really like on this album. I've been listening to a lot of Christmas tunes also. Michael Bublé's album and of course Mariah Carey. I watched a movie last night and it was Juno. I love Ellen Page and Michael Cera is just so awkwardly cute in this film. Oh, they're just so cute. It's just such a cute, quirky film. I don't know. I really like her personality in the film too, so 
Ooh, and some kind of miscellaneous stuff. I really like Nutella. So my camera died and I'm gonna try to do this really fast, but I've been making um, hot chocolate by using Nutella and milk and it tastes like a god. Oh. And I've also been drinking a lot of coffee and this is the uh, French Vanilla Light from Van Hoot. Whatever. No one in my family drinks this one. They use instant. Commoner's coffee. <laughs> Anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. I have to finish up a thing that's due tomorrow and I completely forgot about it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!